Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online. Ashley here and today I want to introduce you guys to a new project. This is the first multi-chain NFT game in the world for now, okay? So basically this game can be played across Ethereum, Binance, Blockchain, Polygon and the others blockchain. So what happened is this is the first NFT multi-chain game that we ever encounter. It's called the Blockchain Monster Hunt at the website BCM Hunt dot com as you can see on top so let's take a look at the introduction before i jump further onto the game and you guys can have an overview of it because in this video i'm going to cover the developers and cover the white paper but will not be doing any uh rating for it because there's a lot of information that's not surfaced i just want to put this project on your radar so you guys will know what's going on currently they're having id ido for now on the 12th of october to 14th of october so that will be covered in the video as well for now just let's take a look at the trailer before we talk about the project. Okay guys, so as you can see from this video, they have very interesting concept, okay, uh, like what you see here, it's on a multi-blockchain game. So you can actually catch rare monsters and different monsters from different chain. Like for example, Ethereum, example, like Ethereum has water monsters and then uh, Binance has fire monsters. And in order to like catch a water monster over Ethereum, you can trade it on their multi, uh, multi-chain our platform like the marketplace and all this and that so it's very interesting here there's a few types of monsters like the uncommon catch rare catch and then the epic catch okay and all different kinds of like chain multi blockchain here and the monsters are all super unique why because they mint only when the blockchain is huge uh is 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 what is mine so the moment this week no one has the idea of when what types of mods you're going to get okay it only creates then there's also different blocks that will be available like you can see when the blockchain is mining during the blockchain mining period okay uh they explore the blockchain and then they have one block that is dedicated to commercial block win prizes and partners so their partners actually put advertisements on it then after they have this better block so this better block you win coin that means win their governance token or you can lose your nft if you lose the battle itself and then also at the same time they have this catch block so when the catch block is up all the players are able to catch a mock monster on it so they have a limit of number of monster on it like for example if they mint like 100 monsters during this catch block okay all those people will need to send in the catch power in order to catch the high and, and increase the challenges at the same time i'll go through the entire website and white paper to let you guys understand more and okay these are the graphic that you have on the game itself and the monsters you can see is level one all the monsters can level up to level 100 so as long as you level to 100 right your stats will be better will be faster and your speed advantage and whatnot okay if you victory if you win against the other opponent you actually got the governance token and you level the monsters up and then you can trade over on the marketplace on cross chain cross chain marketplace which they will develop and this will be the hunting time okay this is the introduction of the website uh, the IDO is ongoing. It will be on the 12th of October, eh, on the 12th of October to the 14th of October on three different platforms. So guys, just look out from here. And I do have a referral link right in the description below. You guys can use my referral link and register for the IDO. Just put in all the things that you need to, and then that's it. Okay, do use the referral link so you can support me and my content, and I'll be able to maybe get in one of the IDO with the referral link. So I hope you guys can help me on that and our partners okay so their partners are actually quite uh quite huge okay this is uh, the animoca brands is one of the developers okay uh, game studio develop developers quite strong and we have heko chain poka star moon age and all this and that so quite a number they already actually 
uh, funded about 3.5 let me see okay they actually raises about 3.5 million USD on the first round of funding so the first round of funding come from all this network they express that get, get it, gratitude to uh, Heco which is Huopi, Polygon Network, Sky Vision, Chain Boost, GD10 Venture, Everest Capital, po Poker Starter, Moon Edge, Mooning Morning Star Ventures, Delta Blockchain, all these are the people who actually fund their first round of funding. And these are the things that the people who say, okay, the investors say, we are proud to be an early investor on the blockchain monster hunt. This is a unique blockchain game which, in our view, could lead to a design paradigm shift in the industry. As these studios look to create games where the scarcity of NFTs are instinctively built into appearance on randomly designed time-based block. This is kind of insane. So that means every time the timeline, the hash powers, the hash, uh, the hash transaction hash is different, right? All the looks of the monsters will be different at the same time. So imagine catching an NFT that appears once in, once in every 25 years. Guys, I need to tell you about that. There's one NFT that appears only in 25 years. That's kind of insane according to the calculation. So the team draws experience from companies such as Facebook, Google and are backed by the impressive Chain Guardian team. Okay, we have we have had the privilege of working with with them over the last year so basically uh, part of the main team comes from the chain garden team and we are beyond excited to be a part of this journey highly expected and reputed investor okay the match make uh, the market makers and networks and pledge to provide our full support network and marketing to help realize our shared vision so the number of people who sit here, you guys can go and read about it. I'll try to leave the link as much as possible uh, of the main link of their medium. They actually collect quite a number of information there. And then these are the team members. Let's go back to the website and take a look how to play. Very simple, mainly just connect to your net, connect to your wallet. Then you select a chain, which, which is my favorite, which is Binance chain. You can select Ethereum chain as well. And then you can start to play. You hunt for monster when the hunt blockchain is up. So you hunt for the monster. It can be unique. You send in your uh, monster hunt and then try to catch it. If not, you can trade it or buy it from the marketplace. And you can start to earn rewards by battling to earn the BCMC. So BCMC is their main governance token, the ERC20 tokens or the Binance token, so they are actually multi-blockchain. So you can see this on that. Okay, Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, and a few will be up later. And then a complete trailer, battle other monsters directly on a blockchain and earn attractive prizes. Evolve with the blockchain. So that means if today the blockchains get more and more and more people mine for this, uh, what happens is that the difficulty will get higher. The lesser the mobs will, the NFT will be available, uh, and the difficulty to capture the the more difficult it's going to get for you to capture the the mob at the same time. It's kind of insane how the developers actually can come out this idea and leverage on that. So the blockchain monster coin will be the BCMC. Okay, ERC twenty slash BEP twenty token. Okay, it's both but Ethereum and Binance also. And then to earn and spend in game, users are free to move BMC on any chain without the need of bridging their coins via the party platform so that's kind of insane another innovative structure there and catch catch power so catch rarer monsters and boost your chance of success so when you come to a hand mobs right uh hand, hand block on the blockchain certain of the mobs are super rare and you need to increase your catch power to catch that so you have you can use the B, bcmc bcmc coin to do that and that will burn the coin at the same time when you use it you use it to catch the the monster that's kind of insane so the burning tokens mechanic i kind of like it because there's quite a lot of usage for it especially one of these will be the insurance so you have the battle block so when the blockchain mine until the hash rate of the battle block so once once the battle block come out everyone can actually battle the the monster in the blockchain but there's a chance that your nft uh, monster will die the one that you catch and use for battle will die it's a high risk high reward for this battle block and you can buy insurance to protect your monster from dying using b bcmc again so the governance token so those who actually hold the tokens and stick it they can actually di direct the direction of the entire thing okay the view, view the tokenomics we will cover later uh then we will talk about the team first the team are quite strong i would say um from here you can actually click in and then go into their link and and whatnot link in whatnot so naka who co-founder x facebook tech lead and then Jake Tran is the ex Google senior engineer, and then COO is ex Garena operation lead, and then Adam Hoxon Robon uh, Robay, 
Syed uh, Indon and then Rose Palm. So all these people are quite reputable, especially the first top three champion here. They are very strong and you can see here, he actually, he actually graduated from the National University of Singapore and then uh, they have the contact information that you can find and his activity is a senior software engineer Facebook full-time until August 2021. So I believe that he left Facebook for this new project and then uh, now working on the uh, blog chain monster hunt so the backend engineer for data robo and then the south uh, the seed four years and nine months he had a very strong element down here and he's from the national singapore university so yeah basically they are located in singapore if not wrong now and uh, yeah maybe i can find him for a cup of coffee just kidding <laughs> i don't think he has time for me okay so the second guy who is jay chan uh, it's Tri Tran here. Tri Tran here is a software engineer, ex Googler from Nanyang Technology University, so NTU from NTU himself. Okay, and you can see the activities. He's a senior software engineer, okay, full time until present. I think he's still working at VN Life. And then before that, he's a Google full time until last year, September. So he works as a software engineer for Google in Ireland during that. And, but now he's actually located in Singapore as well. So another coffee meet. On um, co coffee kaki, we can find him. So this is what uh, he does. Okay, he's uh Chelman's University of Technology two zero one four for one year and two zero one two to one six. He's uh actually studying at Nanyang Technology University, which is in Singapore, which is awesome though. This is awesome. So basically, uh, Tri Tran is the Google ex Google engineer and Kong Lei, the MBA student at London uh Business School from United States. Uh, from no, not from United States. Sorry, from United Kingdom. And from MBA candidate, co-founder of co-founder at Escape Room Business Side Business. That is his side business. And Garena, he actually works for five years and eight months as a manager, new market expansion, and also producer, senior product manager for mobile games. Okay, in Vietnam. So Magna, he actually work, went to work in Vietnam for two years, then Mexico for another one year. This kind of insane, guys. These guys are all powerhouse. And a few more, okay, Chain Guardians, okay, this whole entire Chain Guardian teams are on the uh, BCMC, so also from Chain Guardian here, you can see, co-founder of Chain Guardian, and then also here, co-founder of Chain Guardian, and NFT processor, Ethermon, so it's Ethermon, two years and five months, until present now here, so he's a co-founder of Ethermon, and then we have Sai here, was also the Chain Guardian's graphic designer full time until present. So the whole entire Chain Guardian group, four of them, the founders and the co-founders are all here to back up this entire project. And Ross, Ross Fam will okay, it's actually from Center, California, United States. Graph, uh, graphic design NFB. So basically now it's Ambrose Technology Private Limited full time until present in Singapore. Okay, another coffee meet <laughs> or co coffee kaki if we can find her. So these are the few powerhouse who's working on a project. Quite impressive here. If you can go through the team itself, you can see Naka is one of the BCMH co-founder and a former Facebook tech lead. His role in the Facebook was fueled by the desire, desire to contribute to a platform that allowed individuals to build a community and grow closer together, albeit online. So basically, he's actually in charge of the Facebook uh e-commerce uh, platform to help people to set up their shops and whatnot and build a community around that. So Naka took the same passion or his love of gaming to create BCMH, an NFT game that like Facebook encouraged community building and socializing with each other and their passion. So this is that and then Jade Chan will be the one engineer at Google. His expertise lies in the field of algorithms and data structure, specializing in Python protocol. Okay, Jade Price himself, off being team player and encourage creativity from all team members. Okay, which is evident when I look at the creative gameplay of Blockchain Monster. So in 2015, Jade completed a software engineer internship at C. And then after that, which he was brought on as a full-time engineer. He was also the senior software engineer at Zendesk. Okay, so Garena Operation Lead. So Gong Li had held management position at Garena. A leading global, I believe a lot of people in gaming will heard about this company, Garena. Okay, a leading global mobile games developer and publisher. Okay, Gong brings a wealth of experience in project management and market expansion for mobile gaming to the BCMH. So he has coordinated with several teams of different backgrounds to launch games on continents around the world. So he's currently pursuing an MBA degree at London Business School. So these are all the powerhouse that you can go through. So the other four, the other four developers from the bottom are from the 
Team of the Chain Guardian uh, NFT game. Okay, as you can see, and then Rose Sam here will be a graphic designer, and she does a lot of things, in, including 2D and 3D. So basically, this is a very strong team, guys. But of course, I'm trying to connect to them. I hopefully I can get some uh, feedback from them or whatnot. Then we can do the rating and what goes. But I want to put this project on you guys' radar. It's quite awesome. A big full team here. And then are uh, a few things that we're gonna go through. Okay, let's talk about the white paper. Okay, this video is gonna be long if I go through the entire white paper with you guys. I just want to say the game that lives on the blockchain. So basically, what happened is like every time, okay, our uh, the concept is very simple. Okay, this means that no one can predict. Okay, see, the monsters are created in conjunction with new blocks on the blockchain. And the attributes of a new monster are based purely on the unique digital footprint of a given block. So the block hash. So this, this means that no one can predict or control the appearance and attributes of the monsters. The RNG here is insane. And furthermore, this means the size of the BCMH universe grows with the blockchain itself. So as long as the blockchain keeps growing, the size of the game grows at the same time. As no one can predict the block hash before the block is mined, no one, again, against no one, not even the game developers have control of the monster world. This is kind of insane. It's like organically, the game is growing on the blockchain itself so these factors make the blockchain monsters a real species that live on the blockchain and make bcmh right go beyond the concept of simple nft ownership that is incorporated in the most current nft games on the market so now most of the current market on the nft is like they have already pre-designed the whole thing and you can just buy then you breed for a different bit whatnot everything is conceptualized and created virtually by the company but for this wise Okay, this BCMH wise, every monster is from the blockchain and you cannot determine the look and the rarity, the, the, the kind of specialness, uniqueness and perfectionness, perfection on the on the monster itself. I'm going to go through that more in the white paper here. So the first multi-chain NFT game, I do not want to say this again because this is the first one in the entire NFT metaverse. So the play to earn revolution. So at the heart of the BCMH exists the block monster monsters which is the ERC721 NFT and BCMC token these features are as follow blockchain monster here there are monsters that these are monsters that players hunt they appear on specific blocks on multiple chains and their characteristics are determined by the blockchain itself the supply and demand of the monsters is well controlled through a game difficulty mechanism that works in a similar way Bitcoin mining works, okay? So monsters may also be burned during battles to curb overpopulation. So if today you actually battle with your NFT, there's a chance that your monster will be will, will die if you lose the battle. So a marketplace is provided on all chains. The game is deployed on allowing players to easily buy and sell monsters and player can also transfer the monster across chains to use in battles or exist in any hunting of new monsters. So blockchain monster coin which is the BCMC is the ARC20 okay used as the in-game currency so they only have one single in-game currency and also the governance uh, game governance coin so this is the only coin they will be used in the game and the BCMC CMC is used in almost every, every activity in the game. For example, it can be used to increase the probability of catching monsters, to pay trading fees, to stake or to mine CM, uh, MCMC, okay, should be, should be BCMC, okay, BCMC, or buy insurance to protect your monsters by preventing NFT burn battles. So the BCMC stakers use BCMC to govern changes of the game, and stakers are given priority to try out new features. So BCMC is earned to battle and the reward amount is adjusted dynamically based on the game difficulty. So the game difficulty incorporates a unique fully on-chain game mechanism that ultimately adjusts itself, okay, or the game's difficulty based on supply and demand. This is kind of insane, guys. I cannot imagine the brain of the developers, how they can come out with this kind of idea and start to deploy such a game. So the vision, the BCMC, uh, BCMH, Team believes that multi-chain gaming will be the next breakthrough in crypto industry. Our goal is to pioneer this step change and to support any other like-minded projects and teams with the same vision. Okay, this is kind of crazy here. So, okay, in September 2021, a small team to come and analyze. Okay, this is the backstory of how the 
uh, the we are called we are so called the keepers lah, the defenders, and we're called the blockchain keepers. So we will be so called the blockchain keepers. We gotta hunt monsters and then deploy the monsters to defend the blockchain itself from all these growing monsters. Okay, so you look at these monster attributes. Okay, you can see the block born. So they will tell you which which block the monster is born and the species, what type of species it is, and then the type of element, and then the bond chain, it can be Ethereum, it can be Binance, and the WoW, so this is actually a WoW mobs, and the genius is 7, this is like the DNA, perfection is 67%, that means if you get 100 perfection, right, then the stats will be even better, so you can level from 1 to two, one to 100, so if you level 100, right, you get better on, and also the better power is overall average of the better power, whatever increase down here. So speed does give you a speed advantage and whatnot. So there are all three types, okay, there's three types of monster species. The Genesis species, they are pre-mined monsters, okay, so these are pre-mined monsters. The wild species, they are monsters that are caught directly on the blockchain. So when you have the hard blockchain art, you can actually catch these kind of monsters here. And the artificial species, okay, genetically engineered. These monsters are created by merging high level of monsters which allow the merging of rare traits. This is similar to breeding. So this is something like a breeding. So three types of monsters are available on the uh, blockchain monster hunt. So monster species, there are 500 WoW species, an undefined number of artificial monster species. Monsters of the Spain, same species share the same appearance, elemental type rarity and both battle abilities. So this is the one that we can see here. And monster genius, okay, while, while monster species are divided to fi into 50 genius group, so each having 10 monster species, the genius group indicates the rarity of a species and all species of the same genius share the same rarity. The higher the genius number, the more rare the monster is. So it's kind of insane, guys. Okay, when the blockchain is mining, during the blockchain mining time, Okay, the genius that is 1 to 7, for example, this is this is 7. So 1 to 7 is a common common monster. The rarity is common. So you can catch one a few minutes to an hour, you can catch one. It will appear in the blockchain. So if you get 8 to 20, that means uncommon. So a few hours to a day, then you can have one appearing on a blockchain. And 21 to 30 is rare, a few days to a month. And 31 to 40, Epic is a few months to a year, guys. So this is, Epic is considered super rare. If today, you imagine you're playing this game, accidentally you caught a legendary, that will be up to seven years, guys. You're seven years super lucky. That's kind of insane. And if today is 47 to 50, it's mythic. It's up to 25 years. They only appear once every 25 years. I don't think I will live that long to see two appearance of this meeting. But if anyone that can capture this meeting, I can tell you, you will worth a lot, a lot, a lot of moolah, guys. Because you will never appear again. Remember, this is a blockchain game. So when the block block is mine, okay, over, and the monsters who are not captured, right, will be burned. So the monster was ne will never come back again. So imagine this is insane guys this rarity this rarity is crazy if any one of you guys ever catch a meeting do let me know okay i'll just do a dedicated video to celebrate your success so monster elemental type there's all together 10 types of elemental from earth electric water fire ice air dark light spirit and neutral so there's all different types of elemental and then every different elemental surpass each other so maybe if today i get a chance to play this game on a beta testing because they have like 500 beta testers and also beta testing for the early vips in uh in october and then they'll launch the game in november so the monster sound also will be unique every monster sound is unique and you level up it will be unique as well and then bong horn bond chain is different perfection so the monsters are stronger than other monsters of the same species at the same level if they have a higher special perfection rate so imagine today at level 80 and level 80 but one perfection at 60 and the other one perfection is 80 the perfection 81 will win so level wise monster level 1 to 100 here the battle stacks health attack defense special attack and then special defense here battle power okay so the encyclopedia is not up yet a lot of things they still need to build in okay the bl blockchain timeline so i mentioned about the four different blocks that will appear on the blockchain timeline as you can see in the video so the first one will be a catch block catch block is a monster will appear in this block for player to catch the type of monster that appears and how easy it is to catch is determined by the block hash and game difficulty so this is something that you guys have to catch and then the battle block a battle block is a monster 
that will appear in this block for players to battle and in doing so mine BCMC okay so if you win the battle you're gonna get BCMC as the reward so the type of monster that appears and how strong it is is also determined by the block hash and the game difficulty and this this part when you play at the battle block right there's a chance that your NFT will die but of course they provide insurance you can use BCMC to buy insurance so you will save uh, your mod from dying if you lose the battle so the commercial block that is like for example their partners can airdrop token or an nft or do advertisement on it interesting thing and the cooldown block cooldown block is like these blocks have no actions at all and are used to balance the speed of different chains so players cannot take advantage when they are on this block for example cooldown blocks will be the most frequent on bsc than the eve chain as blocks are mined relatively faster on bsc so bsc is faster in that case and then the distribution of each block type is adjusted based on the chain and growth example uh, growth so for example if there are too many monsters caught then the catch blocks will appear less frequently while the cooldown blocks will appear more frequently you see this is insane guys again insane i got no idea how the guys gonna deploy that but i believe they can do it so this is the catch block i'm going to just skip it okay there's a catch block so minimum catching power they call it the cp so minimum catching power okay the monster that appear are only valid within 256 blocks if they are not caught right it will be gone forever so this is how rare a monster will be on this game itself so minimum catching power skills with genius group okay rare monster will require higher uh, catching power so minimum catching power increased periodically based on the total monster population and can be subject to future governance and players can pay the catching power by native chain currency ethereum or bsc or bcmc so that means if you pay bcmc you can improve the chances of catching that monster so available amount so at a catch block there may be more than one monster of the same species available to be caught if that available amount drops to zero any transaction sent to catch the monster in the block will be reverted so there's a success rate so not every attempt of catching the blocks monster will be successful so this will be looking at the success rate and the catching booster so the catching booster is something that you pay bcmc and then you actually boost it to 70 percent and the rest of 30 percent will be on the bcm assistant so bcm assistant is like sending your own monster with the that matches the required level and elemental type to help you to catch and the success rate will increase by another 15 percent so 70 plus 15 85 percent if you pay and send one of your nft to catch the monster on the catch block and if both level and type are matched the success rate increase by another 30 percent that's kind of insane that is 100 percent catchable so the monster stacks and the perfection so this is what i mentioned the higher the perfection of the same level the the the, the stronger it is so blockchain world difficulty will be adjusted accordingly the battle block okay this is something that you guys have to take note so if you battle there's a chance that you can burn nft because killing rates if a player monster loses a battle it may be killed then the player loses the ownership of the nft and then the killing rate is the chance your monster is killed in the battle so guys you remember when you go into a battle block you have to read that okay I, hopefully i can do a guide on that uh in future so the battle insurance is you pay B, bcmc to buy insurance for that that battle so that if anything happens the kill rate happens right your bot your mob will not die okay your monster will not die so the battle logic okay i will not go through that okay super detail about that you guys can read on the white paper or leave it in the description as well i don't want this video to be super long the metaverse okay they're going to introduce metaverse uh laboratory is for fusing the dna and then tournament will be definitely up and then the trade will have like marketplace and whatnot so the marketplace is a cross trade they are, they'll build a cross trade okay currently uh and you can see the flash load the full, so the flash load is possible so anyone who actually accumulate a lot of like monsters you catch a lot and you don't use everything you can actually loan it out and those people loan it and then the battle and then return you after they earn and you you manage you will be able to actually gain uh bcmc over it so the tokenomics are very simple here the tokenomics uh this bcmc is in erc20 and bep20 which is uh binance smart chain and clean intervention token in its main currency so here you can see if chain chain boost poker okay these are the ideal pl platform guys if you want to get on ido you can go to chain boost poker starter and moon age you can try your luck there remember use my referral link 
and then go into the IDO registration here. That will help me out on the referral at the same time and give me a chance to see if I can enter the game and also as a beta player that I can do more recording and more guides for you guys. So do remember use my, my link there. And let's go to tokenomics. Okay, mining rewards is the game rewards. Okay, the ring rewards are like 40%, public round is 0.5%, private investor is like 9.8%, ecosystem treasury, marketing partnership, and team advisory. Remember guys, this is a project overview, so I have not tracked down their wallets and whatnot because the TG has not happened yet. Uh, they are still not yet, they are now launching their IDO, so after they launch the IDO, so when they do their TGE, all those people who buy IDO will be able to claim the tokens, and that time then we can start tracking down all these uh, lock schedule and unlock schedule. So the public tokens have not lock schedule, so 100% will be released on the day one when they buy. So the private tokens are unlocked, uh, unlocked from the 90 to 120 days uh, period of time, investing over one year. So the marketing and partnership tokens are linear over 12 years. That's kind of insane. This is the longest lock I ever see if they actually pull through on that. And then team and advisors tokens are unlocked after 180 days, which is like six months in. The vesting will take a period of 2.5 years. And the ecosystem tokens are linear over 6 years and mining tokens are linear over 12 years. So that is the one. Supported chain will be Ethereum, Binance, okay, Polygon, Matic, and then Hacko chain. So yep, Hacko chain will be coming up also, Moonbeam. So there's quite a lot of chain that's coming up. The side chain which is Ambrose, they are building the side chain to reduce the currency of the whole thing. So cross chain, they will be building a cross chain portal also at the same time where you can trade all your things across each other on different chain. Okay, the team and partners I will not mention again because I already mentioned there, and you guys can see that the roadmap is not up yet. Okay, to be confirmed. So guys, this is the entire overview, project overview of the blockchain monster hunt. Okay, they have a closed beta ongoing, five hundred slots available. Okay, registration is now open, but this is September 23rd, so I actually miss it. And a lot of people, uh, the 50 people got in and 450 from the community. So the 50 who registered close beta will be selected at random, and the remaining 450 will be randomly selected from their Gleam contest. So this entire Gleam contest is already over. And over in September, it actually closed on September 28th, so we kind of miss it. We'll be looking forward for gameplay uh, once the close beta are able to... Uh, put some out okay i will share with you guys but for now this is how far this project has gone to super interesting in summary i will say that they have a very interesting concept the first multi-chain nft game on the uh, nft gaming journey now and then the partners and the team are super strong the concept of building having minting uh, the nft from the blockchain is super refreshing and you will get the unique uh, blockchain if you ever get a mythic that, that is only appearing 20, once in 25 years then you'll be super lucky guys so as that said again remember to like and subscribe there's no rating for this project yet because i just want to throw it so you guys can take a look and, and keep it under your radar and make sure be there for the public listing and get some of the tokens and start to play this game when the game is launched in november so remember to subscribe like and comment below okay and share so that I'll be blessed by the YouTube algorithm. And uh, in this coming week, I'm going to put up a super, super big news for you guys. I might be going on high tools, but then after that, uh, Audrey will be streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on all the horror games. So I'll be out of action for a while. I hope you guys can understand. I'll put up a notice soon on this week to let you guys know. And the meanwhile, this week, I try to put up as much video as possible. So... Yes, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead. Cheers. Bye.